Hello, we are Chris and Angie Yowsey. Welcome to our show. We invite you to Spirit of Love Church, where we pastor in Columbus, Ohio. Welcome back to Real Marriage with us. Over the years, we've helped a lot of couples, and we enjoy it so very much. So we're thankful for this platform to be able to share with you some of the things that God has been doing in the many lives that He has given us to minister to. So we hope you enjoy the show. We want to welcome our guests, Monty and Amy, to our show. Welcome, guys. Hi. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. <laughs> you are welcome. We're excited <laughs> about you guys coming on the show. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you guys have done coaching with us in the past, yep. and yep. Yep. we loved it because we saw such transformation with you guys, mm -hmm. and you were good listeners. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> so why and first did awesome. you guys decide that coaching was something that you thought was good for your marriage? Mm -hmm. I mean, we needed help, you know, we're in our 30s and um, both very independent, um, neither one of us, I had never been married before and we needed good, solid Christian counselors and we had pastoral counseling before we got married, but we really wanted somebody that could work with us and get in the weeds with us mm -hmm. from a weekly process and weekly accountability um, and could give us like actual real tools mm -hmm. that worked for you guys. Like mm -hmm. we wanted to see a marriage that was actually like working from the tools. Mm -hmm. And you guys have had so many experiences and have the interracial thing going. <laughs> <laughs> and we just knew that you guys could feed a lot of your wisdom into us. And we yeah. just, we yeah. needed, we knew that there was nobody else that could do it but you guys. Mm -hmm. Awesome, mm -hmm. that's a huge honor. And that is yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. well that you know, true. I was thinking when you said uh, that you didn't just want to read a book, mm -hmm. you know, there's millions of books oh, yeah. on marriage and relationship. If it was that simple, why don't everybody just get a book and read it and mm -hmm. be done? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need that extra support to kind of hold you accountable and walk alongside of you. And uh, so I just love that you got that revelation. Mm -hmm. from. <laughs> well, we come from poor examples mm -hmm. of good marital leadership. Yeah. So. I am, I'm running on bad news, <laughs> bad news, bad information, bad view, uh -huh. poor angle, bad lighting, just bad. So, bad <laughs> and submitting to that and coming to an understanding a little late, for me a little late in the years, because I, I, you believe in these people, mm -hmm. your aunts, your uncles, your father, your mother, right. and they have been poor examples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was time for a change because I don't want to bring in our beautiful children. Mm -hmm. I really want them to understand yeah. what a union mm -hmm. is supposed to look like. I need them to. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> Thank and you. Such a time as this. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been totally our pleasure, right? <laughs> totally our pleasure. Man. For more information on coaching with us, go to our website. Tell us if where, you're... from where you started and then we'll work our way to where you are now. Mm. Where do you feel like you guys were when you first? I felt super immature. I felt in over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I felt unarmed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt like I needed more swimming lessons. <laughs> like, Your analogies. Are <laughs> it was, and, and I have high hopes. Like, man, this is it, this is it. Oh man, I'm not ready for that. I don't even know what tool to use on that. <laughs> I was, it's, okay, it's been right. humbling. And it's been such a graceful period yeah. of coaching, of marriage, of unity. And the scripture says and it's, you humble yourself before yeah. the Lord. Mm. He'll heal your land. Yeah. And that's what you guys did. You humbled yourselves yeah. and say, you know what? Even though I want my way and she wants hers, we're going to humble ourselves before God. Yeah. And then at that moment, that's when he began to heal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so that's beautiful. You guys... Mm. It, it, when you get that, I mean, that when people say to us, that's the first thing, the first tool that I thought was most helpful, yeah. which is like applauding, yeah. because it's the most important one out of all of them. Yeah. yeah. Because all of them goes right, go right back to praying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of it all together, even from where I came from, the bad relationships, the, the all the, the women I was with at the time, trying to understand the women that I'm supposed to learn from mm -hmm. and trying to figure it out on my own well, I grew very immature yeah. now I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to just make sure that we're okay yeah, yeah. and that 
that takes a lot of I think you said it, you know, it takes a lot of hard work and maturity, and, maturity. Yeah. and not yeah. for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. I think those are words that you even use mm -hmm. in our session mm -hmm. because it, I mean, you really like, I apologize seven times, 77 times, yeah, yeah, 700. Yeah. Tell us about some of the things that you've learned from coming to coaching that you've implemented mm -hmm. and how it's affected your relationship. Go ahead, I think the, the first thing that was very simplistic, but that I love was praying together every single day. It's not even really a tool, it's just a new habit right. that we um, implemented and we've both been very good mm -hmm. about, you know, if one of us forgets or if one of us is having a hard day, I mean, I'll be like, here babe, let me pray now. Or I'll just pray over him, I don't even ask him, I just pray over him like before he goes to work or, mm -hmm. and he'll pray over me before I go to work. and. Um, but even in the beginning of our counseling, uh, just sitting together every day and allowing five minutes together to just pray together. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even in the middle of a fight, mm -hmm. um, after a fight, in between the fights, we fought a lot. <laughs> we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> and a lot of people probably are. Uh -huh. yeah. Exactly. It's true. I mean, it's not easy. Like, marriage is so not easy. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of people don't end up staying married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Unresolved. I really do understand it because mm -hmm. it is the hardest thing I've ever done. Mm -hmm. But it's also the most worth it thing I've ever done. Right. It's it's mm -hmm. really worth it to come home and be in a peaceful home. Yeah. Yeah. So but the praying together every day was the biggest thing that just kept us back on. It always kind of kept us back on the same page. Yeah, yeah I, I was just thinking that... Um, you know, it says our, our, our weapons, and really these are tools, but they're also weapons. Mm -hmm. Because if, if God designed marriage, so he made us in the image of him. So mm -hmm. if he made us in the image of him, then we're godlike. And if we're godlike, the devil hates us. Right. And if he hates us, he, obvious, he obviously is using some tools or weapons against us. Mm -hmm. And so he likes to twist things around yeah. and what you hear and what you see. And so when you grab hands, that's just like a, a weapon. Mm -hmm. It says our weapons are not carnal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're mighty. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing. There's different ways to fight the devil that don't seem logical to regular man mm -hmm. or woman. <clears throat> so when you pray, that's not logical to yeah. a normal person. <laughs> right. So. That's good. And when you grab hands, that's not normal. That's not normal. That's not normal. You're going against the grain. Mm -hmm. And and that really shows the devil that, hey, that didn't faze, that didn't faze us. Mm -hmm. We're still together. Mm -hmm. We're still fighting. We're still conquering. Mm -hmm. um, when, you, when you learn something new, that's like taking uh, new ground for God. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're doing. That's good. Because if we can change another marriage to fight the right way, mm. you just took more ground. Wow. You just took ground over in Hilliard where you live. Wow. Hmm. That's good. And where, and, where, and where you live, imagine how many people you can help by not even saying anything, just living it in front of them. Mm -hmm. Right. The way God wants you to do it. That's good. Well, I think you, you said it best when you said how you just learn how to handle mm -hmm. things that come at you. There's always going to be things coming at you. I mean, you can wake up and maybe your hormones are acting. acting right. Up. Maybe your allergies are acting. There's mm -hmm. always something right. to make you act a different way. Yeah. So, but it's the way you handle it mm -hmm. and uh, and insight. You know, what is this? What outcome am I trying to get? Yeah. And if I do this action, then this is going to be my outcome. Yeah. So just learning those kind of things and enjoying when you do have the positive outcome. And, and just it's kind of, I always tell you guys, study each other. Become each other's best students. Mm -hmm. Because when mm -hmm. you do, you, you figure out what is it that brings me the positive outcomes mm -hmm. and what is it that really takes us down mm -hmm. 
one or two pegs yes. <laughs> or more. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and then you just avoid those things mm -hmm. and learn how to communicate about it. Yeah. Once you guys taste uh, what it feels like to yeah. be in unity mm -hmm. yeah. and the benefit of it yeah. is so worth it and yeah. you don't want to let it go so quickly. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, we just don't let things like that linger because right. we like our unity mm -hmm. and we like what it feels like in the house. We yeah. like what our kids feel yeah. because people can feel unity and peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when it's when something's array, you can't really fake it. Mm -hmm. You can try, but everybody can read between the lines oh, yeah. on that. Yeah. So we fight for that. And yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, scripture says to give no place to the devil. That's and right. To me, when you let your your friction that disconnect stay that way, yeah. you give place mm -hmm. because now yeah. he can start making you think a little differently and mm -hmm. think opposite of each other. Mm -hmm. So we really, you know, that's one thing we hone, we hone in and bring it home. Mm -hmm. Stay in unity. Fight for that. It's not even worth it. So good. Yeah, it's not worth It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. Because you know how it is when you're, when you're disconnected and you, you don't fix it and you go and try to pray. And you go and try to mm -hmm. praise God and you know something's just gnawing at you. The more you operate in that unity the more quick you are to identify when you're not in unity mm -hmm. and you I gotta yeah. get this fixed mm -hmm. you know so, so but uh, yeah. anyway <laughs> and your prayers won't be hindered yeah that's right because <laughs> uh, you know you, you look at at people in the church they're always trying to figure out what's going on why their prayers aren't answered when mm -hmm. all they have to do is just look at home that's mm -hmm. good look at home look at home and, and and if you guys can conquer that at home imagine what you'll do on the outside mm -hmm. <laughs> The vision of our children, and their children. Yeah. There's got to be insurmountable peace. Mm -hmm. There's got to be insurmountable understanding. Mm -hmm. There's got to be God in the middle of all of it. Mm -hmm. Because we don't, there's too much going on out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to feel like they're not ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if home says you got it, <clears throat> that that's going to suffice. God right. says you got it, that's going to suffice. Right. And we, if we don't start... Mm -hmm. it, all of it will be for now. Right. You're yeah. absolutely right. And your your children, um, you know, that's what the enemy's after. He wants the next generation, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So if you guys can get it, then your kids will know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I we're just amazed that we have six sons, and yet they all went off to the military, all went off to play football, and they went to different states, different countries, and they all are coming back home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they all call us with their prayer needs and you know, mom and dad, how do we handle this and their relationships? So, you know, it's pretty uh, incredible mm. the power you have between a husband and wife mm. to create something beautiful for the next generation. Mm -hmm. Something you can be proud of. Mm. You know, mm. the best thing you can do is give them the tools so that they can live for God and mm -hmm. know how to get a hold of God for themselves yes. and know that God is real. Yes. You know, so, and the best way you can do that is to live it out loud. Mm. So what you guys are doing to fight, to, to keep that unity, you can pray over them and God's going to answer that prayer. Amen. Your kids are going to ask for prayer and Amen. they're going to know God's going to answer that prayer because he's done it for mom and dad. Yeah. You know? So it's, um, it's going to be a powerful thing if you, you guys keep on the same vein. Yeah. 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 So good. Mm -hmm. you know, what, what I remember is, is the way you said that your, your family did it wrong. And when you are willing to change it, first thing comes to mind is the first way to change it is to say, I'm sorry. And then once you say you're sorry, then that healing takes place. Yeah. Now you can hear what somebody's telling you. Mm -hmm. And once you hear it, now you can change all that other stuff that's been told to you, what marriage is really. Mm -hmm. And then once you change that, now it affects your children. Mm -hmm. And now you can start raising them up the right way mm -hmm. yeah and that's that's why you're so grateful <sighs> because you see it, it it agrees with your spirit that you're in the right place yep. at the right time at the right time <laughs> <laughs> man so good so good yeah and that peace that you have when you when you're doing what you're supposed to do that's your confirmation right yep. this is exactly Hello. what you need to do Mm -hmm. yeah. So anytime you don't have that peace, that means I'm out of order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get mm -hmm. back in order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you, you look at how you fought to get in the here. Mm -hmm. 
remember when you first came to Ohio and when you first got married and how you had to fight mm. to get where you're at now. Mm. And now it's worth it. Yeah. It's worth it. That's true. It's worth it. It's worth it. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so when you guys first came to us, how quickly did I was just thinking about how yeah. Keep it real. It was a lot. <laughs> Keep it real. <laughs> Keep it real. Yes, you mm -hmm. guys had a lot going on mm -hmm. when you yeah. first got here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of frustrations, yeah. um, a lot of me, me, me. Mm. How long do you feel like it took, how many sessions in before you felt like you saw change? Not everything fixed, but when you saw, did you feel like there was hope and that you could, you could pro probably and possibly do this uh, with some coaching? I think I saw change right away though, like after the first session within the first week. I mean, and, and it wasn't that everything changed, mm -hmm. but it was just having, because I think that was the session that you talk about just praying together. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that was, that was the first week that I think honestly like something shifted. Mm -hmm. And there was definitely like a lot of fighting in that week too, because there was, I mean, I, th I think that the enemy was fighting us pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Like I think anytime that there's something positive or like a, a positive thing that we've Towards God. reached, yeah, right. you know, for us, if like we went like a week, two weeks, three weeks without fighting, there was always like something else that would kind of throw itself at us and see if we can handle it. Mm. And but I think that that is something that I've at least, the thing that changed was being able to look back at it yeah. and go, okay, but this is because we've been praying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, is we, this is because we've been doing X, Y, Z, and this is not him, and it's not me. Like, this is the enemy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I think for me, even the first week, mm -hmm. I started to see change mm -hmm. in our relationship mm -hmm. and how we progressed. I definitely, I definitely felt a relief after nobody the first session. That. Wait, mm -hmm. nobody wants to carry that weight. Mm -hmm. And coming to coach with you guys gave us permission to, to let the weight go. Yeah. Like, let it go. Yeah. And I was convinced. So I did. Mm -hmm. And I felt it throughout that week. Mm -hmm. And then we came back again. I let some more weight so go. It's, yeah. yeah. Probably about the first, the first session, I definitely felt a push uh -huh. and a mm -hmm. turn. Good. Definitely. Good. Yeah. Awesome. We want to invite you to our Real Marriage Conference November 2nd in Columbus, Ohio. Don't delay. Register today. So you guys did coaching. Mm -hmm. What would you say to other people who are considering it? I think everybody could use that honestly. I don't, I don't know who wouldn't want a better marriage. But I, just, I think everybody needs it. Everybody needs to understand, you know, how to pull that stuff from the word yep. mm -hmm. and really apply it to everyday life. Mm -hmm. You can go to different marriage seminars, but I think I think the difference is really sitting down with you two and being able to really spill the beans mm -hmm. and say, okay, this is what we're dealing with individually. Yeah. And there was a lot of that for us. I mean, we would come in and be like, well, this is how the fight happened, and this is what he said, and he'd be like, I did not say that. Yes, you did, and they, just you guys even being able to see mm -hmm. and That's know really and happened. give, and, and then not that you're <clears throat> twisting what your advice is, but you're able to bend it a little bit towards each personality and each marriage. Mm. And, I mean, you guys, because of what your ministry is, like, you guys see all kinds of marriages mm -hmm. and you can see it from a distance you can pick out how people are in their marriage just in how they sit together at church mm -hmm. because that's yep. your ministry mm -hmm. right you know it's like we're both singers we know by just the way somebody walks onto the stage right. before they sing uh -huh. how good of a singer they're gonna be uh -huh. mm -hmm. and it's the same way with you guys mm -hmm. and so i think true. everyone yeah. needs some you know, counseling, everybody needs some help, everybody needs some coaching. So, I mean, there's just life that happens. Right. And, yep. you know, parents get sick, mm -hmm. you know, there's issues with children, 
there are job issues, there's yeah. all kinds of issues that life throws at you. Yeah. And I think coaching helps you just be able to mm -hmm. navigate through all of that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And with people that know the Lord and know the word and know we can trust you guys. And we can trust you guys like spiritually, we can trust you guys, I mean, like with our hearts, like there was never a moment of, you know, there was, the cool thing is about when we, when we had our coaching is there were times that Angie would be like, I understand what you're saying, Amy, but you know, I got to go with Monty on this. And Chris would be like, hold on, but here's, here's what Monty isn't remembering about what Amy said two sessions ago. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's so beautiful in that and then vice versa. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it had nothing to do with oh, I got the girl and, you know, guys again. It was nothing like that. It was just all a matter of perspective mm -hmm. and, yeah. and truth mm -hmm. and being able to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were times that we would know exactly what each other was <laughs> feeling and thinking and the same with yeah. you two. And then there was vice versa. Yeah. Like, Monty would be like, I got you, Chris, keep going. <laughs> and then I'd be like, I'm just going to let Angie go because I know she's on the boulevard, you know. I mean, so it's just... I would recommend it to everybody. I think everybody's marriage would be happier if they had some coaching. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's and beautiful. I think the most important thing about um, encouraging people to come see you guys was would be, regardless of who they are and where they come from, mm -hmm. the second they come through that door, well, I'm about to get some help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening right now, yeah. but I don't want to leave right away. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's universal. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Church folk, regular right. folk, professional folk, rich folk, poor yep. folk. Yep. The second they break that threshold because of the anointing on that threshold, mm -hmm. and you two, and they're so just real. go. You just need one set. Just yeah. go. <laughs> just go. And if, so if you want to run out of there like your pants are on fire, <laughs> you're a liar. <laughs> or the devil's in you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, absolutely, and I would encourage them with love, mm -hmm. yeah. not with, right. not for any other agenda. And they're real, they're real, like with dealing with situations. Oh, absolutely. They're, it's not like, oh, well, da 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 da. Yeah, it's like, no. no. It's not scripted, it's, it's not. no talk. Yeah. You know, we say real people, real mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think, like, there was even a few times that they would give us examples of, like, when they fought, mm -hmm. and it, it, I know it helped me because I'd be like, oh, they do. Fight. Like, oh, they do have We're disagreements. Real? Exactly. And yeah. I mean, even just watching the way that you guys even communicated in the house mm -hmm. and how they communicated with each other yeah. has even yeah. helped me a little bit. Yeah. Part part of that spiritual contact is your realness. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Part of that spiritual contact is your honesty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys are tangible. You're not like, mm -hmm. come on into our house, mm -hmm. not an office building, mm -hmm. right? Not a doctor's office, not a hospital. You know what I'm saying? It's not that kind of setting. Yeah. Right. So that's totally. Mm -hmm. You guys are incredible. Thank Why not? You. Thank you. Yeah. We want to keep it real because you, you, the more transparent you are, the more receptive people are. That's right. You know, so that's the whole. I mean, I don't know. I've never been one to be faking. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too much work. It's true. Yeah. No. So yeah. you just keep you it real. Tell how it is. Yeah. You know. If you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're right, I'll yep. praise you all the way. Yeah. <laughs> and then Chris, I? <laughs> Chris will just see right through you. Uh -huh. Like yeah, there's been, like, I know, like there was like a couple sessions that I was like, I, I'm just gonna let Monty talk. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> I'm like, did it and at the end of the session? Chris would be like, so what's on your mind? <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's a really beautiful combination that you yeah. two have. Mm -hmm. And thank you it's it's rare it's literally it's as rare as any other diamond you just oh. can't find anything like it awesome and even if there are other couples that do coaching I mean there's nothing like you guys you oh, guys have okay. such a gift and well, that's sweet. Yeah. yeah we were honored oh, that you let us and after our first consultation mm -hmm. phone call I remember getting off the phone with you and he was already at work, but I sent him a text and I said, babe, I'm, we're going to be fine. I just feel so hopeful. I mean, just after one phone call. Right. Yeah. And I mean, we got 10 sessions of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. 
Everybody so needs good. everybody needs a little Chris and Angie as far as I'm concerned. Yes, yes, Lord. Uh, so we were at the movies and we were watching Samson. And the part where he is um, he has the jawbone of a donkey and he's killing the Philistines left and right. And the Lord told me, he said, that uh, he said my anointing was in that jawbone and mm -hmm. to, to help uh, Samson defeat them. Yeah. And he said to me, he said, he said, you'll defeat every diabolic, everything that's against marriages wow. in this hour, wow. just like Samson did. Yeah. Mm. And every time people come in here, we go, God, I don't know if we can do this one. <laughs> but he always reminds me, Yeah. you guys are Samson. And so right. we always go, okay, God, okay, Holy Spirit. Do your thing. Right. <laughs> and he always does. Man. That's he awesome. always does. Incredible. He always does. So it it just it blows us away to see God move and care about marriages so powerfully. Mm -hmm. And like a loving father. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Like a loving father. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, it is sometimes that people come in and we're just blown away with the, the types of issues or problems and Yeah. And uh we we're just sitting there and listening to the Holy Spirit as they're speaking, and then they just leave with so much hope. And I mean, yeah. we're talking about the very wealthy to the not so wealthy, mm -hmm. the old, older and the younger. So it is just nothing but the Holy Spirit. So yeah. we are truly humbled Humble. and honored yeah. that He has given us the insight mm -hmm. to be able to do this. Amen. Yeah. It's like when you were saying, "Me, God," we say the same thing. We say the same thing. Um, <laughs> us, it's you know, incredible. Yeah. He does the work and gives you all the credit. Man. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Who does Thank that? you for joining our show today. And we also want to remind you of the marriage conference coming up on November 2nd in Columbus, Ohio. You don't want to miss it. Join us next week on Real Marriage.